You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Soup and these are your WMAR 2 News top stories. Campaigns are ramping up as we hit the final stretch to Election Day and crooks are ramping up their scams too. They're targeting voters by sending out texts about registration that seems legit. Jared DeMarinas is the state administrator of elections. He says people in Maryland have received this message. His office says being getting out the word to people, let them know not to click on that link. A professor and cybersecurity expert talked about what will happen if you do. The phones, uh, as we use them, 75% of the time, it is texting. Out of all the things we could do, music and streaming and telephoning, 75% is the text messaging. Uh, and the data that's on there, it could be your medical data. It could be the financial data, which is also a large, uh, large percentage of people use it for banking. So the moment I can get onto your phone or the attacker can get on your phone, it's a, again, it's a rich environment uh, for capture of information. The State Board of Elections is recommending people report it. We have a link to do so in this story's article on our website. Well, a long blighted building in downtown Baltimore is getting a new life, helping people with low incomes find a home. The Baltimore Development Corporation announced the $26 million project. It is called Sojourner Place at Park and will rebuild six properties on the corner of Fayette and Liberty Streets. It includes 42 one bedroom apartments for people making significantly less than the area's median income. It will also have spaces for local businesses. Well, the screams have been counted and the goosebumps tallied up. It is official. Maryland has one of the scariest haunted attractions in the country. Bennett's Curse in Dundalk ranks third in fun, well done, top five most scary attractions. The haunt combines medieval nightmares with high tech horror. It features four different areas, including a cursed castle, a house of demons, a haunted asylum, and a throwback to classic horror flicks. The not so scary forecast. We're actually looking a lot better. What's been rainy for the past week and a half starts to clear out by the end of the week. How about this? Just in time for the weekend. So clouds stick around into Thursday, mostly morning. By the afternoon, we'll get some rays of sunshine. That spills over into Friday. Mainly sunny skies by Saturday and Sunday, and then a quick rain chance on Monday. Most of the week ahead, though, is dry. Temperatures drop back into the 60s for highs. Tuesday and Wednesday starting to feel more and more like October. With overnight lows near the 40s, Kelly. All right, thanks, Chris. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in the App Store.